So uh, let's move on and check out uh, the news. Stop the music. It's time for news. Let's head over to the newsroom and check in with Jeff Sales. Everything you'd ever want to know about drones. What's happening, Jeff? Are you guys done with your camera envy? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting over here thinking, my God, I'm waiting for people to stop talking about a camera. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Ready, set, drone with a $27.42 uh, super chat because you guys are two of my faves. Aw, shucks. That's so specific. Though. Stop it. Yeah, $27.42. $42. And, uh, oh, fly natural. Hey. Don't let Chris have that camera. He will blow it up or set it on fire. Lol. <laughs> Oh, come on. I would cradle that. By the way, if, so you if you have any ideas for the slow motion camera, just go ahead and uh, email me here at KenHeronUpload at gmail.com. Just know I check this about twice a week, so don't get mad if I don't reply <laughs> right away, okay? But please send me your ideas for stuff, as long as it doesn't cost money, you know? Blow up a car, Ken! Well, I know. if you give me the car, I'll blow it up. I know people do that to me all the time. Like, why don't you tether your drone to your uh, your friend's Viper and see if it? I'm like, really? Right? Yeah. Really? Grab some C4, car. put a C4 on a, on an old Corvette, see what happens. I was like, oh yeah, I'm sure it'd get views. Yeah, I'll be. <laughs> Back to the news. All right. Well, so uh, hit it off with the news. Nah, to, to hit it off in the news, we'll start with the super. That's still sort of fresh in people's minds um and i guess opinions are not as to what you guys thought about the halftime show intel uh made a great showing with their uh their shooting star drones um but they also were able to pull off beating one of their own records um for indoor drones the most they'd ever flown before was 110 drones that was at the exhibition at ces in 2018 but for the Super Bowl, to form the words one and love as part of the Maroon 5 song, they used 150 drones. And surprisingly enough, we're still waiting to figure out how they got the permission to fly those drones over a Super Bowl crowd. Yeah, well, I mean, they have to have it. There's plenty of witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oz, a lot of liability. Oz by drone, $10 super chat. Thank you. Is that a high-speed lens in your hand or are you? Question mark. Ladies. Uh, <laughs> Lee Stevens, $27.43 Super Chat to buy another shirt besides that red graph paper shirt. Oh, man. <laughs> this is, you just Googled it, is it to get the exact amount of money? Is it Taxes, shipping? I don't know. These are some weird amounts unless unless Google has taken their cut right off the bat. Is, is this shirt not good? This is a chap shirt. This is what we wear down here in the South, y'all. Is it doing funny well, things I mean, with the camera though? Is it making got, it look? You've got the red aerial photography right there on your mic, and you got a red background. Oh, there's a lot of red going on. Yeah, I need to have contrasting clothes. Okay, I'll, I'll head down to the the store and get me some new shirts, some new threads. Thank you very much, Lee Stevens. And now back to the news. Well, so in the lead up to the Super Bowl, of course, we had heard about the 30 mile, not 30 nautical mile radius uh, that they had set up as a no fly zone. And you guys had questioned last week whether or not anybody would even think about flying in that. The FBI confiscated six drones in the run-up <laughs> to the Super Bowl. Wow. They're not Gosh. giving any details as to how or why or who they got, but there were six idiots that tried it, so there you go. This program is, oh, again, no. interrupted by a Super Chat. Uh, John Lund. Uh, I'll be taking my Part 107 test next Friday. Your true inspiration can keep on keeping on. Thank you. I appreciate that. The, the entire drone community is behind you, sir. Good luck on your test. And thanks yes, for that. Yes, de definitely good luck. Yeah. Okay, so we did actually have a Guinness Book of World Records uh, that was broken with drones. How many? Oh, um, wow. This isn't a number of drones. What this is, the Guinness Book of World Records that they broke was the number of different maneuvers that they did in a specific time period. That looks like, that looks like that dude. Jesus. Now see, there's where they messed up. It doesn't look like anything was written down there. 
<laughs> yeah, they were only using 30 drones, but they were able to create 11 formations in a very short period of time, thus breaking a Guinness World Record. Wow. Very cool. Have, Does have, the Prince of Dubai not have anyone who could run a camera for him? He's got to pull out his phone. Right, he's still doing, he's, <laughs> he's, he's still throwing it to Insta. I mean, good grief, he could go, hey. Go yeah, right. yeah, right, then, like 10, <laughs> 10 gorgeous ladies. We'll do it for you, yeah. And what phone what was what phone was that that he had? I hope it was the newest one. Android. Okay. Come on, dude. All right. Okay, so Flymotion has decided to kind of one up things for everybody. Um, they have released a mobile drone command trailer. Cool. <laughs> this is Sweet. to be. This is to be given to the. Uh, companies that do like fire rescue and stuff like that they they showcase this um, so you can control everything you need to to control for your drone from that one location as this mobile command center that has a launch facility place to charge it has all of the the tracking data and information to be able to store it's a pretty cool little little tool and, and by the way we have to interrupt the news once more uh, Artco drone solutions ten dollar super chat Get Chris Rollins more sodium to blow up stuff. Chris, when are you going to blow up some more sodium? Uh, whenever it gets delivered. Did you order uh, it? Yeah, I did. You did? You ordered another how much? How many, how many pounds uh, was that? Two pounds this time because I want to do this. There's a couple of things I want to try to do. Go on. Anyway. <laughs> Go on. No, no, no. I'm, I'm splitting it oh, in half. And I'm okay. going to have a pound here filmed one way and uh -huh. a pound here filmed another way. Okay. By the way, if you haven't checked out Chris Rollins' channel, please do. There's a link to it in the description. He does a lot of wacky things, and I'm going to show one of your videos. One of your, one of my favorite videos you've done. I'll show that in a little bit. Uh, wow. Uh, Midwest Drones, twelve dollar oh, super yeah. chat. Odd number for an odd. Thank oh. you. <laughs> um, by the way, a portion of this will go to uh, both of these guys here. Am I am I pointing correctly? For helping sure. me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, T.E. Mayberry, $1.33, Super Chat. <laughs> These numbers are hilarious. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, Vantage Point Video, $11.53, uh, Super Chat, F 53 cent. Uh, odd number for an odd fella. Even is just so boring. I agree. I agree. Uh, that's funny. And Dennis Lovelady. Wow. Please send me one of those drone control trailers oh okay yeah we'll send you one of these what we is got that? it we'll oh, put it in your driveway yeah. Absolutely. and at 14.99 yeah that is a steal. we're on it right All away right. <laughs> okay so to continue on with the the story the williamson county sheriff's office reported recently that they had captured a murder suspect uh and they did it by basically chasing him down with a drone yay yeah uh, he apparently had gone on the lam and had run away from them, and uh, the SWAT team was able to uh, work with the police department using the WC or WCSO drone to locate him, and were surrounded surrounded him and were able to uh, capture him. And you said he was uh, he was on the what? He was on the lam. Thanks. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What else so, you got, Jeff? <laughs> I got a I got a guy that is been labeled the drone avenger. This local man uses a drone to expose Fucking illegal dumping sites wings. across Cleveland. Take off. Flying high over Cleveland. I've been Whoops. heard the term vigilante. Take off. Flying high over Cleveland. I've heard the term drone avenger. Ed McDonald is becoming a hero to a lot of homeowners. The images he captures are a high-tech tool tracking illegal dump sites across the city. When you see it from the air and you have that aerial shot of it, man, it just it opens the whole property up and you're like, wow, that's, that's crazy. His drone, equipped with an HD camera, provides a bird's eye view of Cleveland neighborhoods, cruising over homes, peeking into backyards, and uncovering trash heaps you might not see from the street. And I'm just tired of these sites. I'm tired of driving past and hearing that there's a property and nobody wants to do anything about it. McDonald documents illegal dump sites and posts them online. And he's developed a loyal following. You put it on Facebook, you put it on social media, and people start commenting and they start sending it to people and they start giving you other phone numbers. 
Very good. The Drone Ranger! That's kind of, I, I feel like that would be the kind of guy that would watch this show. Yeah. Are you out there? Are you out there, Drone Ranger? Ranger? Uh, by All the way, right. uh, me, 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 he, me, he, of you. <laughs> uh, $5.69 uh, Super Chat. Here is some beer money. Do you think DJI will update the Mavic Air anymore, or are they done till the new model? The Mavic Air SDK allows so much more. Thoughts? I don't think I've heard of the SDK. Uh, is that is that a, a new one that's out? I, I what, got nothing. What am I missing? I got nothing. Uh, yeah. Are you just making up drones? There is something? <laughs> oh, no, wait. I mean, oh, as yes. far as I was concerned, the Mavic Air was still a production system, so I'm imagining they're still going to be making updates for I it. I think uh, if, if you go to Ash, droning on, he's uh, in the UK. I think he talked about that, that drone. It would. It might but, have, might have been update, a hoax. Do you mean firmware, or do you mean, like, you know, the Mavic Air uh, I guess 2. will they be offering support for it anymore? Uh, Ralph Woodard, thank you. Uh, 299, Super Chat, keep on keeping on. And T.E. Mayberry, again, th 333. My word. And he asks, who won the Weeble? Uh, huh. The Weeble Lab from ji uh, I won it. It's mine. I'm keeping it. But yeah. I am giving away <laughs> the Smooth 4. Uh... See if I can grab that without knocking anything over. Hold on. You get a long headphone cable. Back here in the prize vault. Yeah. Uh, this contest is still active on my channel. If you want to win this, just go and check out the the Weeble Lab video, and you can you can maybe win this. I'll give this away in about a week. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I broke it, but it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I got one. For, I got one more for you guys uh, for the news. Um, so in Bangkok, they have a problem with pollution. Yeah. And in the areas that a lot of the tourists go, the, the, they've wanted to try to start cutting down on the amount of pollution. So they've come up with this great idea of generating drones that carry 5 to 10 liters of water that are flown over a two-square-kilometer area for about 15 to 20 minutes, spraying clean water into the air, thus removing the pollution. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're going to spray placebo into the air and make everybody think they're doing <laughs> exactly. something. Hey, you guys. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> drink in that placebo, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Your tax dollars at work. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Okay, very good. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for the news. You're wonderful and you we are. appreciate it. You're most welcome, sir. And I want to thank you for all of your help behind the scenes. Jeff is my go-to IT guy, and he is helped me set up Larry. Larry is my new system here, right over there. You can see the very edge of it. Uh, Jeff, you want to tell them what kind of pooter that is over? It's an Alienware uh, Area 51 that has been maxed out to the ends level. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Jeff, it, it would be a, a toaster if Jeff hadn't helped me with it. <laughs> yeah. And I very much appreciate it. Now, uh, before I let you go, Jeff, I have to, I showed you this video that I want to share later. Okay. And it was, it was sent in by, let's see, who, who sent that? You know what one I'm talking about, right? I, I think I do believe I, I know the one that you're talking yeah. about. This was sent in by Skyview Aerial Videography. Should I play it now with a warning or, I mean, it's not, it's not dirty but like you know what i mean like <laughs> it's your, give a it's trigger your... warning give yeah, a trigger it's... warning and if, i haven't seen this by the way people i have zero the, idea this what's going on. this this is an awesome video because it just happened naturally <laughs> and and he thought to send this to me and i really appreciate it uh Mark, if there's any young children in the room you might want to turn them no, around it's not it's it's only what you <laughs> think it is uh, ready, set, drone. Uh, One dollar eleven and eleven cent uh, super chat. What else we got? We got uh, we got uh, Mark Rogers. Two dollars and thirty three cents. Please film little fart in high speed from Tater. Okay. A uh, lit fart. A lit fart. Oh, a lit fart. A little. F okay. Oh, no. My old eyes. Just a little fart, not a big one. A lit fart. Uh, Tater's a classy guy. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and play this now. <laughs> I, I have a video from from good old Tater here from Mark Rogers that I didn't play last week. I'm going to play it now. And 
uh, our buddy Jim Wallace, who makes the eyeball decals, he also makes uh, the rest of the decals that are available for a $10 Super Chat or a $10 PayPal, your choice. These eyeballs will keep the birds away from your drone, guaranteed, or Chris Rollins will buy you a new drone. Isn't that right, Chris? Uh... We'll talk about hmm. that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's Mr. That's Mr. Graphic, right? Yes, Mr. Graphic sent uh, Tater one of our roadkill menus. Look at look at what he does. Look he, at what yeah. he did for me. That's awesome. Wait, here, wait, wait. Let me here get, we go. Here, here. Yeah. How sweet is this? That's metal, right? No, this isn't metal. I don't. I don't know what it's uh, made out of. But oh. I mean, like, uh, he actually did this, to my understanding, by hand, which is ridiculously cool and to me it looks i mean it looks just like 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 a, a real does. street sign i mean it the does. font everything and i have to tell you i have to tell you jim he these eyeballs these aren't these are handmade as well when he prints are these out yeah when he prints these out he has to go in with a razor blade and pick out all of the i that's had how no much, idea that's that, insane yeah, right that's why they're ten dollars because there's so much love involved in them no kidding. Yes. I mean, he sent me this just as, hey, I want to do this for you. I was like. He's a great guy. Oh and I'm gosh. sure he's watching right now. Very talented guy, by the way. And just that, I didn't ask him. He, he just sent a, a roadkill menu to me before, <laughs> and he sent one to Tater. And here is Tater enjoying that roadkill menu. Here it is. Enjoy this. Hey, everybody. This is uh, Tater coming at you. And what I got in the mail today was completely cool. It's a menu from Ken and Dana's Roadside Diner, home of the signature <laughs> pigeon jerky. How cool is that? We got all kinds of cool items in here. Let me flip it around here. We've got, <laughs> guess that mess, the Dana Williams special. If you can oh guess what gosh. it is, you eat it for free. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. Here's one of Ken Heron's favorites, Dino on a Stick, prepared over an open fire by professional cooks. While supplies last. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Jim Wallace, for sending this to me in the mail, my friend. This is really funny. I love it. Check out um, Mr. Graphic, Jim Wallace. Thanks so much, man, for this menu. This is really funny, and it was a very pleasant surprise to get in the mail, man. Thanks so much, buddy. There you go. And uh, That looks so legit. Uh, that looks like a legit menu. That's yeah, hilarious. He, he put a lot of work into it. If you want something, there's a link to Mr. Graphic in the description. And now I got, I got to clear out these uh, these super chats re really quick. Uh, okay, we got the, the little high-speed fart. <laughs> Smoky uh, Mountain Aerial Imaging. Wait, what happened? Oh. Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging, $1, a Drone Crush, $10 Super Chat. Love you guys. Split with the crew. Of course I will. Uh, seed Reviews, $9.99 Super Chat. What did I miss, Ken? I just showed up, lol. You missed. Uh, everybody is sending in $100 Super Chat. So join in the fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, join us when we go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Uh, Lee Stevens, dollar ninety-eight super chat, and uh, me of you four dollars and twenty cents. Wonder why he picked that amount, bra. Uh, <laughs> software kit. Oh, that's what it means. Software oh, it's, development. Kit. Yeah, it's ah. acting like Leechy. Okay, I see. And uh, another one from Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging. Just cause. Aqua Blue here is two dollars. Okay, <laughs> and uh, Mappers two nine dollars and twelve cents. Eyeballs work. Thanks everybody. Wow, man. My word. That was a, a whole bunch of odd amount of super chats, and I appreciate <laughs> it very much. Now, back to this video. Um, Jeff, you have you have kids. If they saw this, then they did see this. They're not gonna be put off, right? No. Would those no, of us they, with they... scruples be put off? Should yeah. I turn around? No, it's just something that that. That happened, and uh, I'm just, I'm just going to show it. I mean, I'm building it up a lot more than it should be. It's it's harmless. If, you, if you've seen a bikini, you've seen this. Yeah. So we're getting very excited now, aren't we? Uh, this was sent in by Skyview Aerial Photography. He said, thought I would not be disturbed on a Sunday morning. Looks like these guys have been up all night partying, but nice kids and wanted the video link. Enjoy. Skyview Aerial Photography. Um, if nice, you're nice kids, <laughs> yeah. If you're offended by this, then eh, yeah. enjoy. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. 
this man. So he thought he was going to be alone until the bars let out. Uh, oh, he said something to that girl. What the? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> so, apparently, she's. It's very hot out there, and she's just cooling off. I. I there's, there's no audio, of course, but I'm. I imagine it's something like, yeah, woo, bra, and all that stuff. <laughs> Yo, is this, where is this, Australia? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, uh... This guy had a beer in his hand, so clearly they had... Right, thank you, party. Skyview Era Photography, for sharing that. Man, they had a good time. Woo! All right. No regrets, no regrets sharing that. No regrets. I mean, okay, so our three ladies probably vamoosed, but everybody else is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know who my audience is. I know who my audience is. Uh, all right, in just a couple minutes, we're going to bring in Riley Strickland. He is the co-founder and VP of Global Sales for LoomCube. And I wanted to show you what the prize is going to be. The prize is a Mavic 2 lighting kit. And uh, I got a little video here that will show you exactly how cool this thing is. Jeff, we're going to have to figure out that problem that we're having. We're going to have to figure that out ASAP. <laughs> we're trying to, we're trying to, it's always something. But uh, anyway, here it is. Isn't that cool? Wow. You've done a lot of stuff with light, haven't you, Chris? Uh, yeah, not with drones. I mean, just, you know, professionally. But, yeah, very little with drones. Light is so important. I mean, oh, it's huge. especially I did a whole video on it. at night <laughs> when there's not yeah, a lot well, of it. <laughs> yeah. But there you, you know, go. When yeah, you can't see. Those so, things are amazingly yeah. bright. So someone's going to win that tonight. Uh, Brent Newman, $6.66. Uh, super chat. Yet another super chat interruption. And uh, the way I'm looking at it, <laughs> those are nines. <laughs> uh, wow, everybody's just... Okay, may have, another $2 super chat. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> at this point, it's worth $2 just to interrupt the show. Um, <laughs> let's see. I, w I wanted to also, before we go any further, I wanted to show everybody something. There was a, when, when you're in the chat, I want to make sure that you're seeing all of the chat. Um, what do you mean? Well, there is, you have to there, make sure that you choose the option that says live chat and not talk. Oh, chat. that's yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know if everybody knows this, but there's two different flavors of chats. Uh, there's top chat, which is the YouTube default. When you open up a chat window, it defaults to that and it, it doesn't show you everything. You have to choose live chat and then all the messages are visible. This is particularly important when doing a contest that is chat dependent. So make sure that you choose live chat and not top chat because top chat will just cut a lot of that yeah. out. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our guest this evening. Oh, Jeff, you yep. waving goodbye? <laughs> well, I was about to say, you probably want to send me packing. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep you around. Bye, Jeff. Feeling Oh, feeling wait, confident? that's right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Right. Stop. Thank you. Bye. Now, now get, get out. out. Okay. No. I forgot Jeff's little goodbye uh, thing there. <laughs> 